Hello everyone, I'm Ishwari. I'm a fifth year medical student. When I joined med school in 2015, I had no idea how to study or what my study method was. So I tried out a lot of things to figure out what suited me. In this video, I'm going to tell you all five study techniques and what worked for me and what didn't. Let's get started. I base my productivity on how much work I'm able to finish rather than the number of hours I spend studying. There have been days where I spent a lot of time with my study material but wasn't able to achieve much. And there have also been other days where I just spent three solid hours studying and I was able to finish everything I planned for the day. I feel this is a more flexible way of studying because if I finish my work early, I'm able to relax for the rest of the day and at the same time in order to stay on track, I don't go to bed unless I finish everything on my to-do list. While studying for the USMLE Step 1, I used to watch videos by Kaplan and write my notes on first aid. This was a big mistake because when I was looking at first aid again, it became too overwhelming because this is how it looked like. So I switched to the e-copy and what I did there was I started highlighting the important things. Yeah, important things because everything on first aid is important. So this is what it looked like. Maybe my method of annotating was not good enough or the way I highlighted things were not proper. Somehow it just didn't work for me. So my alternative for this was flashcards. So now when I learn something new from a lecture, I do not write it down. I directly put it into a flashcard. One more thing about writing notes on first aid was that I did not look at it as often as I was supposed to. So I ended up forgetting things very easily. But with Anki, due to spaced repetition, I was able to memorize facts much more efficiently. Not only for step one, but I used Anki even for my university lectures. Like whenever the professor said something which I didn't know, I'd immediately put it into a flashcard. This way, I didn't have to go through everything over and over again. Rather, I could just focus on those things which I did not know. This saved me a lot of time and I was able to focus on my weakness and work on that and make it better. Unfortunately, this method did not work for me at all. I remember for step one, I was writing down a lot of things to memorize them, but it took so much time. And on top of that, I was able to remember it only for like a day or two. And due to lack of repetition, it just faded away. While studying for my preclinical exam at university, I remember having a huge pile of notes, which had information from lectures, from from videos, from PPTs, and a lot of other things. And towards the exam, when I was actually supposed to look at it, I was so overwhelmed by the amount of information that was there that I just didn't look at it at all. So instead of writing things, I create flashcards. Flashcards help me view things at regular intervals, so it's harder for me to forget things. And at the same time, I'm able to choose the number of cards I want to view per day. So this way, I won't even get saturated. Now before you judge me, let me tell you how exactly this works. Whenever I watch TV shows like Grey's Anatomy or House and I come across a medical term, I go on Google and check it or I check it with my textbook and try to understand what exactly it is. Like I started watching these shows when I was in second year and this was when I would completed my first year pre-med and started with subjects like anatomy, physiology and biochemistry. While watching Grey's Anatomy, I noticed that whenever a patient had a seizure, the doctors placed them to the left side. So I was a little curious and I googled this and I found out that this is actually done to prevent aspiration. The right mainstem bronchus is more vertical as compared to the left. So it's easier for objects to be aspirated into the right lung as compared to the left lung. So when a patient is having a seizure, it is better to place them on the left side to reduce the risk of aspiration. 
So this was something new that I learned. And since I watched it, there was no way I was forgetting this. When I started learning pathology in year three, there were terms like aneurysm, pulmonary embolism, arrhythmia, which I was already familiar with because of these TV shows. So it made pathology more fun. I recently read this on the internet. It said med school is like a marathon, but you have to be sprinting the entire time. And this is so true. It does sound like a huge task, but what you can do to make it easier is by breaking it down into smaller parts. Like the way I achieve this is by setting my schedule with short term achievable goals so that I feel good about completing things. And I also treat myself after achieving a few things so that it provides me positive reinforcement. And these things are like very simple stuff. Like if I complete 10 new world questions, then I can get myself some ice cream or even things like if I complete everything that I've planned by Friday, I can go out with my friends on Saturday. So these treats also motivate me to stay on track so that I can have fun when I can have fun and I can study when I have to study. Med school is all about maintaining a balance. You should care for your academics and you should also not miss out on the fun. So plan your things out well, stick to your schedule and I promise you will have an amazing life at university. I hope this video was helpful and if you have some similar study methods as mine, do mention them in the comments and if you feel your study method is unique, don't forget to mention that as well. I hope this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up to show me your support and subscribe to my channel for more study tips and med videos. Thank you.